Humans are neither good nor graceful knuckle walkers. We do not have the body to be a knuckle walker. Unlike chimpanzees and other apes, which can engage in a variety of locomotor activities, including knuckle walking, but also bipedality, our anatomy is specialized to be bipeds. We are in fact exceptionally good at, at this activity. We can do it with great energetic efficiency over huge long distances. From our head to our toes, our body is a reflection of bipedality. When we walk bipedally, you can notice that our head is situated directly on top of our spine, as opposed to being a quadrupedal walker and having your head out in front of your body. Our neck reflects the balance of the head on top of our body. Our arms are situated back and they lack the reinforcement both skeletally and muscularly to be involved in primary locomotion. Our hips are broad and splayed forward to support our body and also to support the muscles that allow us to extend and flex our legs during bipedal locomotion. Our body weight is distributed on one foot every time we take a step. And we can see that in the fact that our knee is situated towards the midline of our body. Our legs bend in, helping to support our weight as we walk bipedally. Our ankle is stiff and rigid that allows us to walk forward and backwards in a very good direction. It also makes it very easy for us to sprain our ankle. We don't have the ability to invert or evert our ankles very well at all, unlike, say, a chimpanzee that regularly engages in climbing activities. Likewise, the bones of our foot, including all of our toes, are locked in position, have very little movement capabilities, but they're specifically designed to help us maintain energetic force as we walk forwards as bipeds. So every part of our body reflects an adaptation towards human bipedality.